approval by the Minister of National Security, Dr. Peter Phillips, the Commissioner of Police, Lucius Thomas, will impose 48-hour-long curfews in designated commercial and industrial areas across Jamaica starting at 6 o'clock this evening until 6 o'clock on Monday evening. During the designated hours of the curfews, all persons within the boundaries of the curfews are required to remain within their premises unless otherwise authorized in writing by members of the security forces. The curfew orders were granted due to intended passage of Category 4 Hurricane Dean, which is expected to hit Jamaica starting in terms of conditions starting as early as this evening. So the official word from the police commissioner is that a 48-hour a 48 hour curfew is going to be put in place in designated commercial and industrial areas right across Jamaica starting at 6 o'clock this evening and remaining that way until 6 o'clock Monday evening. That's Monday the 20th of August. During the designated hours of the curfews, all persons within the boundaries of the curfews are required to remain within their premises unless otherwise authorized in writing by members of the security forces. The curfew orders were granted due to the intended passage of Hurricane Dean, which is expected to hit Jamaica within hours. So, all the more reason why you should by now be finalizing your preparations and getting ready to, if, if you're not already there, to go home and stay home, stay inside, or if, if you're in a low-lying or flood-prone area and you know at some point you're going to evacuate, that you go to the, the designated shelters. But uh, bear in mind that a 48-hour curfew in uh, designated commercial and industrial areas right across Jamaica will start at 6 o'clock this evening and will remain in force until 6 o'clock Monday evening. This is Power 106 FM. We'll continue to track Hurricane Dean and all the other events, activities and uh, happenings related to this Category 4 system. Making your radio, making your radio sound better. This is Power, Power 106. And emergency management, we ask that you listen very carefully. The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, is advising the public that conditions will begin to deteriorate rapidly along the coastline as Hurricane Dean moves closer to the, to, towards the island. All persons who live in communities close to the sea are advised to start evacuating now. We repeat, all persons who live in communities close to the sea, you're advised to start evacuating now. Persons who live in flood-prone communities, such as on banks of gullies, rivers, streams, and major drains, and in areas that have flooded in the past, must evacuate to safer areas by 8 o'clock this evening. Let's repeat that. Persons who live in flood-prone communities, such as on the banks of gullies, rivers, streams, and major drains, and in areas that have flooded in the past, must evacuate to safer areas by 8 o'clock this evening. Communities such as Portmore, Port Royal, Caribbean Terrace, Portland Cottage, Bull Bay, New Haven, Nightingale Grove must begin evacuating immediately. Let's repeat, communities such as Portmore, Port Royal, Caribbean Terrace, Portland Cottage, Bull Bay, New Haven, Nightingale Grove must begin evacuating immediately. A mandatory evacuation order has been issued for the following communities in Portmore, Bull Bay, 
and Nightingale Grove. The JUTC will begin facilitating transportation of evacuees to the relevant emergency shelters. Pickup begins, well, pickup has started uh, at, at the designated assembly points outlined below. Here we go. Portmore, Waterford, Caymanas Gardens, Portsmouth, Armada Courts, Fort Henderson Road, Passage Fort, Independence City, Westchester, Edgewater, Garvey Mead, Bridgeview, Westmead, Westport, and Southbor. Let's repeat those areas in Portmore. Waterford, Caymanas Gardens, Portsmouth, Armada Courts, Fort Henderson Road, Passage Fort, Independent City, Westchester, Edgewater, Garvey Mead, Bridgeview, Westmead, Westport, and Southboro. The residents of these communities in Portmore must assemble at the following assembly points, Westport Community Center, Westchester Community Center, Edgewater Community Center, Southboro Community Center, Bayside New Testament Church of God, SDC Sports Complex, Brayton All Age School, and Greater Portmore Primary. So the residents of Waterford, Caymanas Gardens, Portsmouth, Armada Courts, Fort Henderson Road, Passage Fort, Independence City, Westchester, Edgewater, Garvey Mead, Bridgeview, Westmead, Westport, and Southbor, please go to Westport Community Center, whichever of these facilities is, is nearest to you. The community centers in Westport, Westchester, Edgewater, and Southboro, the Bayside New Testament Church of God, the SDC Sports Complex, and the Brayton All Age School, as well as Greater Portmore Primary School. We have some more information for you, but we just need to take a break. Just a moment. You're listening to Power 106 FM. The time is now 5.34. Jamaica boats on Monday, August 27. And the Gleaner Power 106 News Center will provide comprehensive coverage. Join us for the countdown on Jamaica, Jamaica boats. 